for the sign of Aries hello and welcome to my channel yes so Aries in the recent past we got this Queen of Pentacles in the moon card now the Queen of Pentacles uh, it's showing that um, you probably were wanting comfort um, you could have been spending a lot of time at home because this card it indicates um, that you like I said you could have been spending time money and energy on your home getting it to be more comfortable and this would have been a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt people could have been looking to you for insight maybe some advice and you would have been able to help them if you decided to do so you would have been able to help them so this was definitely a time period when you got a lot accomplished in the recent past now it's with the moon card it's showing that um you might have been uh, feeling psychic intuitive or just in a phase where you felt that way more than usual so it would have been important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions even if you're not sh even if you were not sure where it was coming from at that time not that you needed to be mistrusting but it would have been helpful for you, helpful for you to realize that when you get this card in the reading that all is probably not what it seems so if you felt you could not trust someone at that time then you probably could not it was important to go with your gut instincts and if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it probably took longer than you would have liked for it to. So you might have had to stay patient or you had to be really patient in the recent past. So basically the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon card for the recent past with these two cards paired together. It looks like you could have been dealing with someone who you felt was deceptive or they weren't really saying how they felt. Or you felt like this person was wearing a mask. So you, if this was a relationship or a connection that you were in with someone, you could have started to hold yourself back because you didn't trust this connection. And so you might have just took to yourself and decided to, and you might, you, might, you could have just take, took to yourself and realized that um, you were more, you found more comfort just being at home like this picture is really cute the queen of pinnacles the card above the word pass she's got her dog at her feet and she looks like she's feeding the squirrels in the backyard and she's just sitting on a lounge chair so you probably just realize that it's just best to stick to yourself and just um, be comfortable with maybe the things that you have but you were dealing with someone that you didn't really feel quite comfortable or secure about and you felt there was deception there so let's move on out of that past because I know a lot of you don't want to hear about the past but it's part of the reading let's get on over and see what we got coming up for the last week of August we got the ten of swords and ace of wands so the ten of swords it's showing that you might need to be careful where you put your trust because when the 10 comes up um, as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, you need to keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens and you're being guided to a situation that's much better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. Now the 10 of swords is paired with the ace of wands, which is showing some type of great new beginning very positive one the ones they're in the realm of accomplishments and it could be related to work career or family or romance and if you're having a difficult time now just know that things are about to get better very soon because this card it depicts being upbeat optimistic really hopeful about the future with a really good cause so you're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive or you'll start to feel that way soon now the ace it also tells you that now is a really good time to start something new so it looks like a new love is coming in yep you got this wand bursting above the clouds it's just not sitting there it burst really fast so somebody could come in really fast unexpectedly but you're not going to trust it yeah you yep you're not going to trust the connection maybe because of what you've been through in the past yeah this could be the same person 
They might be asking for a new beginning with you. Or it could be someone new, but, but it looks like you don't trust this new beginning. Yeah, so it, I'm picking up it just might be the person from the past. But these ones is about new beginnings. So I'm picking up it could go either way. Maybe someone new or maybe someone, this person that um, was deceptive in the recent past. Keep in mind, the recent past could have been last week, a month ago, six months ago, or more. So that's why I'm saying it might be them. But hopefully it's someone new that can bring you out of your trust issues. Someone you never dealt with before. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Pentacles... It's showing necessary efforts. You probably feel like you got a lot on your plate that you have to accomplish. Dedication to the task is important. And if you let it work for its own sake, that can be kind of productive. So it's important for you to be clear on what you're trying to, to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period. Now, this doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a negative thing, but you have to be prepared for it. Because if I don't know if you can see the card, but this man, it looks like he's been working all morning and it's about nighttime. Yeah, it's about to get really dark outside. And, and on top of that, the raindrops, it's raining really bad. The raindrops are really huge. They're large. So this person is working really hard. Um, this person could be really motivated, inspired, and have a lot of passion trying to master a craft or just enjoy his employment. Now, that explains the Eight of Pentacles, but it's with the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is showing a lot of things could be up in the air for you coming up. So you might feel frustrated and tired of waiting. This card is an indicator that you have to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can do now. Decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, Nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things because it could backfire on you. Sometimes just know our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, now just wait. Well, it's saying, yeah, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> so basically the challenge, it looks like because you don't trust this connection with this new person or this person that you know that's reaching out to you for a new beginning, you might bury yourself in work or just be passionate about something. You could be trying to master your craft or you find motivation and inspiration in something else. And it looks like um, something's just up in the air. You're waiting on something to happen, but it's not happening fast enough. It could be some type of communication from someone um, it's coming in, but it's just not fast, not, not as fast as you would like for it to. So, yeah, you're, you're just working. Looks like you could be working really hard on uh, maybe mastering your craft. But I'm getting another storyline for you, Aries. That, um, yeah, the other storyline is that for the challenge, you could be dealing with this person that wants a new beginning with you, they could be letting you know that they really want to work hard on this connection with you. But it might seem like things are still moving along really slow and not as fast as you would like for it to. So that could be a challenge too. So those are the two storylines that I get for the challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is going to be. So we got the King of Wands and it's with a Justice card. Now, King of Wands, it can indicate a man with hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. This person will want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is really positive. Even when it does not represent an actual person in your life, it signifies that you could have men around you who are very supportive of you and think really well of you. So you'll be feeling really ambitious and goal-oriented, and you're going to have the will to 
Um, yeah, you'll have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. So the King of Wands is with justice. Justice deals with the ideal of karma, law of cause and effect. So it's important for you to rem remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you could be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So just know if you're directly involved in a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So just to sum it up for you, Aries, the outcome. King of Wands. There's someone that... Um, this is someone that uh, has very caring and protective feelings about a person. So this could be you or this could be someone new or the person that you're dealing with in this reading or the, the person from the recent past. So someone comes in and they really, they're gonna, you'll get the impression that they really care about you and they have protective feelings about you or protective feelings towards you. And you'll feel justified. Like it's about time, you know, this person opens up and let you know how they feel. Yeah, you feel justified that this person has finally come forward. Or you can feel justified that this type of person, someone that cares about you, has finally come into your life. Yeah, you're satisfied with this person. Justice is, is about um, bringing clarity, truth, and light. And you just feel like you have the right. Yeah, finally, someone is feeling about me the way that you would like for them to. Someone has very caring and protective feelings towards you and it feels right because that's what the justice card is saying. So Aries, that's your reading that I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. 